But you can see that now it works. If I click on sale volume, the chart updates to show me this data, which is the sale volume data. And if I select sale value, then this cell updates and this entire data set updates to give me the sale value. So this is how uh, you can use radio button to update charts. You can update dashboards or you can use it to create surveys and then record the responses of those surveys. In this video, I will show you how to insert and use radio buttons in Excel. To insert a radio button, you need to go to the developer tab. If you cannot see the developer tab, right click on any of these ribbon options, go to customize the ribbon and in the Excel options dialog box, make sure that this option, the developer option is checked and then click OK. And when you click OK, you will have the developer tab. Now to insert the radio button, I would go to this tab and within controls, I have the insert option and within insert inform controls i have this option here which is called the option button in excel so you can call it a radio button or an option button now to insert this in the worksheet i would click on it and then click anywhere on the worksheet and as soon as i do this it inserts this option button now you can see that there is this circle that i can select and there is this text which says option button one if you want to edit this text you can right click and go to edit text and then you can change this so you can make it something like good, bad, okay or uh, satisfied, neutral, dissatisfied, uh, these kind of options. And it's likely that if you're working with radio buttons, you would need more than one radio button in the worksheet. So you can again go to the insert option and, and insert from here or you can select the existing radio button that you have inserted once and use the keyboard shortcut control D. And when I do this, it simply creates a copy of the radio button. So I can use this keyboard shortcut multiple times and it will give me all these copies. And now I'll have to go and manually change the text. Uh, to do that, I would right click and go to edit text. So I'll have to do this for each of these options. Now, as of now, these radio buttons are useless because I can select these radio buttons, but nothing is happening in the worksheet. And to make these useful, I'll have to link these to a cell in the worksheet. And to do that, I would come to any of the radio button, right click and go to format control. And in format control dialog box, I have the cell link option within the controls uh, tab. I have the cell link option. So I would, in this case, let's say I would select D1 and click OK. And when I do this, you see a number appears. This number corresponds to the radio button that has been selected. So for example, if I select this one, it becomes one. If I select this one, it becomes two and then three, four and five. So now my selection is actually making a change in the worksheet and I can use this to update your dashboard or record a response. So for example, if I'm recording response as to if the user is uh, satisfied, uh, neutral or dissatisfied, then the user can select an option and it will be recorded here. Now, uh, if you are using radio buttons, you may want to have the functionality where you have different groups of radio buttons. So for example, if I have 10 questions in a survey, then I want the user to select one answer for each question. But in this case, I can only select one option. But what if I want to have the ability to create questions and then four options for each question and have the user select one for each question. In that case, let me create a new worksheet and show you how to do this. What I need to do is I need to insert a group box and here in insert within the uh, developer tab, this is the group box icon and I click on this and I insert the group box in the worksheet. So this is group box one. And once this box is selected, I need to insert the radio button within it. So now I have radio button here. I can create a copy and then I can create a copy here. Similarly, I can select another group box and I can insert more radio buttons within it. And now see what happens when I come here, I select these options, but when I come here, I can also select these options. So at the same time, I can select these two options because these are in different groups. So this group is completely cut off from the worksheet. I can do anything I want in the group so I can select this option or this option. It will not impact other options. So now I can select, a, uh, I can uh, link a cell to these options. I can link a cell to these options and both, to, uh, both these cells would be independent. So this is how you can create groups and then uh, make sure that these work independently of other options. 
Now let's see an example where you can use a radio button and create a chart and update a chart based on it. So here I have a random dummy data which is Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 and I have the sale value data and the sale volume data and I need to give the user an option to select whether he wants to display the value or the volume. So to do that I would first insert a radio button so I would come here I would insert a radio button here let me remove the grid lines and let me zoom in a bit and let me call this one sale value and then I would create another option here and let me call this sale volume. Now I need to link it to a cell so I would right click go to format control and here I would let's say I would link it to D1 and let's see if it's working so when I click on sale value it gives me one but when I click on sale volume it gives me two. Now I can use this result this selection value to extract the right data point. So for example here I would copy this data here and now I want the uh, sale volume data when this says 2 but I want the sale value data when this says 1. So what I would do is simply use the index function I would select this entire part press F4 to lock it and here the row number would be let's say rows I can use the rows formula to make sure that it increases as I go down so I would lock this one and the column number here would be this and let me lock this too and now when I hit enter it gives me 23129 let me drag this down you can see it gives me this result but when I make uh, I select sale volume it gives me this result now I can use this to insert a chart quickly and I'll come here I'll probably insert a simple column chart and you can see what happens when I select sale value the chart automatically updates now I can very nicely arrange these below the chart and I'm not really focusing on how it looks my intent here is just to let you know how this works and uh, formatting is something that can be done later but you can see that now it works if I click on sale volume the chart updates to show me this data which is the sale volume data and if I select sale value then this cell updates and this entire data set updates to give me the sale value so what's happening here is effectively uh, me changing these radio buttons is changing the cell value and this cell value is then guiding what data is extracted and shown in the chart so this is how uh, you can use radio button to update charts, you can update dashboards or you can use it to create surveys and then record the responses of those surveys. So you can create 10 questions and then 10 cells would have the responses so you can quickly extract the responses. So this is how you can insert and use radio buttons in Excel. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.